Welcome back for the latest edition of the SVG new sponsor spotlight. And this is a big one for us. We're thrilled to have Avid back into the mix here at Sports Video Group. I'm Brandon Costa, director of digital at SVG. Pleased to be joined by Ray Thompson. He's their senior director of partners and alliances at Avid. Raymond, wonderful to see you. How you doing, sir? Thanks for being here. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Thanks for having us. Yeah, obviously, like I said, we're thrilled to have Avid back in the mix. And this is a company that doesn't need any introduction to the industry. People, even if they're remotely related to someone who works in the industry, they know what Avid is. Uh, So for the sake of that, maybe let's focus more on maybe what some of the top priorities and the focus is for the company heading into 2024. Uh, What are some of the key things at the top of the list for Avid currently? Yeah, sure. Um, so looking at 2024, I'd say some of the big things Avid's focused on is certainly AI, right? Who isn't focused mm-hmm. on AI these days? Um, at Back at IBC, we actually showed some very cool tech previews around AI. Uh, specifically, we showed um, an AI assistant that would be available in all Avid products, specifically Pro Tools, BD Composer, Media Central, just to name a few. That we actually showed at IBC. Um, and what it allows you to do is ask the AI how to do specific functions. It gives you explicit details on how to go ahead and do those functions. And then in certain cases, like in Media Composer and Pro Tools, you can then ask ask the AI to go ahead and perform that function. So for example, in Pro Tools, I could say, show me how to add another track to my session. It'll tell me exactly how to do so. And then you could say, okay, go ahead and add that track. And then you start an actual dialogue with the AI and the AI says, okay, great. I want to add a second track. Um, you know, What do you want in the track? What do you want to call it? That kind of stuff. And so you start actually interacting with the AI through the application. So we see this as a way to educate users, especially, you know, newer users to both platforms. Um, and, uh, you know, certainly it's always good to have assistance um, in getting people up to speed faster. So for companies who are looking to, you know, bring in new talent, um, we see this as a really big win. We also yeah. uh, are focused on AI We in, as it relates to script sync and phrase find. Um, we used an older Nexedia technology that used to be under the hood there. Um, For both of those technologies, those are now AI driven, right? And we launched those also at IBC. Those are shipping versions of Media Composer. So Phrase uh, Find and Script Sync are both now AI driven inside of Media Composer. What's cool about that is that AI is actually running locally on the clients. So it's not going out to the cloud. Um, You're actually doing it all locally within your own environment. Um, And then on the Media Central side, we showed some tech previews around things like being able to automate things like the creation of transcripts. Um, the uh, translations into different languages, um, the ability to sort of create summaries around interviews, which is really, really uh, powerful so that you can look at like a short, medium and long form version of what an interview might actually be. So this interview, for example, um, and you can then quickly grab uh, the pieces and parts you would want. You could actually save those as well. So they become searchable. Right. So if you run those uh, against that particular clip, you can keep it and then go ahead and run those as uh, against those things as searches. Um, and then you can use those for things like captioning as well. So um, it's kind of amazing, honestly, Brandon, yeah. to see the amount of progress that's been made around AI in a short period of time. And although Avid certainly had AI tool sets available for a long time in our products, um, I just feel like with the advent of, of ChatGPT and then all the other, you know, sort of AI services available from all the different cl- cloud service providers, you know, uh, X, formerly Twitter. I mean, there's just so much stuff now that's uh, really uh, powerful and really allowing us to sort of take advantage of that. So I had a lot, lot of AI uh, this year. The other big thing that we're focusing on is uh, continuing to expand the openness of the platform. So one of the big announcements we also made back at IBC was around the panel SDK. Panel SDK allows third-party companies to build basically an HTML5 panel inside a media composer. Um, so you can actually run different uh, applications as a dockable window uh, directly inside a media composer. So you know, you can do things like um, dailies workflows. You could do things like color workflows, um, you know, VFX pulls, um, just a whole host of other things, logging for sports, right? Um, all of that now can live in a panel in Media Composer. So we're going to make a really big deal about that at NAB, but we showed sort of, uh, we launched it and showed some early examples at IBC, and we're really excited about NAB um, there. And then last but certainly not least on the Media Central side, um, I would say it's really about collaboration and enabling broader collaboration among distributed teams, right? Continuing the trend that we've seen over the last several years um, and collaborate as an app, right? Is certainly one of the areas that we've uh, highlighted. And that's one of the things that we showed that has a lot of the AI stuff that we showed for tech previews at IBC, like transcripts, language translations, captions. So a lot of exciting stuff happening. It's all happening super fast. <laughs> and uh, so it's really ex- an exciting time, honestly, to be here at Avid. 
No, I bet. I mean, just talking about saving so much time and effort at a time when, like you were saying, people, more people are working on projects from other parts of the country and you're trying to feed this big content beast where you feel like you never have enough uh, clips to throw around. Uh, so I can imagine these are really exciting tools for people who are just trying to slice and dice all that stuff. Uh, you mentioned Pro Tools, Media Composer, obviously, you know, marquee big names that people understand uh, as it pertains to the sports world. Anything new that maybe you guys want to shine a spotlight on in terms of products that you guys have available right now? Well, so, you know, still just building on sort of the core sort of hero products, like you mentioned, right? So Pro sure. Tools and Media Composer. Um, and I think the panel is going to be really exciting for the sports mm -hmm. world because that's, to me, is a way for Avid to really expand what's possible as it relates to sports. Um, and so I mentioned some logging uh, capabilities that we're, uh, you're going to see in the panel soon. Um, but there's also, uh, you know, things like uh, IP contribution directly into Media Composer. There's a whole host of companies we're talking to about the ability to enable that happening directly in Media Composer. That is a game changer. Um, and so when you combine that with AI and the ability to log, you now have this sort of really broad palette of capabilities that automate a lot of the things that in the past were very manually driven um, that will save certainly tons of time, like you mentioned, Brandon, as well as allow you to hopefully deliver more content and mm -hmm. deliver it faster to a broader set of platforms. And so um, so those those three areas, when you sort of combine them, that's all really very exciting stuff. And I think it's going to really uh, have people who maybe used to use Avid, who maybe moved off to a different platform, maybe cause them to take another look hopefully um and uh and really see what we're up to these days because it's pretty pretty cool stuff yeah very exciting uh so when you zoom out a bit and uh, maybe we, we were already talking about this we might have your answer already uh but, <laughs> but feel free to take it in another another direction if you want but when you look ahead to the new year is there any trend in the industry or something you're keeping an eye on even it's just to see how it plays out or where you guys might want to be more positioned um what's something you're keeping an eye on heading into the new year yeah, beyond uh, some of the sort of, uh, you know, things we talked about, I think, you know, Apple certainly came out with um, their version of uh, virtual reality uh, and virtual reality goggles, I guess. I forget what it's mm -hmm. called, honestly, but but yeah. I, I feel like that trend is starting to come back around maybe for a second time, right? Uh, you know, if you like look at podcasts, right? Podcasts were big for a while, then like nobody cared about podcasts. And now all of a sudden podcasts are like, you know, everybody has a podcast, right? right. So <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel I feel like that's coming around again, right? I feel like with virtual reality and with, with uh, augmented reality and with, you know, just the ways in which you can consume that and the devices that are being made available, I feel like that's all coming around again. And, and maybe that's also driven, who knows, by AI as well. I'm not sure, but um, mm -hmm. I see that as an interesting trend, right? I feel like that one's kind of almost doing a boomerang. And we're starting to see some of that, right? Nice. Really, really, really captivating stuff. Uh, Ray, thanks so much for taking the time and spending a few minutes with us. Again, thrilled to have Avid back in the mix. Thrilled to have you back in the SVG family. Hope all is well. And we look forward to seeing you down the line real soon. Thanks, Brandon. We're thrilled to be back with SVG. And we look forward to a great 2024. So thank you very much. All right. He is Raymond Thompson. He is the Senior Director of Partners and Alliances for Avid. You can learn more about them, of course, at avid.com. And you can find out some more of the SVG sponsors and some of the newest companies that have been joining our ranks over at our website, sportsvideo.org. More interviews like this on our video platform, SVG Play.